Hi, this is Sue Glenn. We're talking about population dynamics and uh, changes in, in how species are distributed and population sizes. <laughs> and I'm using the, the textbook uh, Ecology Concepts and Applications by Manuel Moles and Anna Scheer, the eighth edition. And at the end of chapter 10, there's an application called Changes in Species Distributions in Response to Climate Warming. And it's got some really cool examples of um, cases where uh, distributions of species and populations have, have adjusted with climate change. We'd already, earlier in the chapter, we talked about um, post-glacial movement of species, uh, the maple and the hemlock trees, uh, after the glaciers melted. And so they were, there was a latitudinal movement over large uh, areas uh, following how the climate change is following glaciation. But now we're getting climate change from uh, increased carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Uh, at one point in the, the text where they talk about this snail, uh, Arianta arbustorum, it's a mountain dwelling snail. And uh, they did find when they found it and they were studying in uh, the city of Basel, Switzerland, and found that the snail uh, was not able to reproduce as well if the temperature got over 22 degrees Celsius. 22 degrees Celsius is probably about the temperature inside your house right now. Um, the, these researchers also uh, thought that since they were so sensitive to temperature, how is climate change going to affect them? So they went to the Swiss National Forest, a little map here at the bottom showing you where the Swiss National Forest is, is uh, right on the boundary uh, between Switzerland and Italy. And uh, they looked at uh, data over a long period of time. Um, so they had almost a century of data. They had uh, distribution information on where it was found in 1916 and 1917, and uh, they could compare it to, this was done in 2011 and 2012, to see um, if it had shifted uh, to cooler up the mountain slopes, to cooler places up the sides of the mountains, uh, so as the climate warmed in these areas. So the historical distributions were compared to 2011-2012. So this is the data from their, their study, and they saw significant increases in the upper elevation limit of this snail along slopes in the park. And uh, they found that on eight mountain slopes, uh, which inc the, the uh, snail distribution increased from an average around 2,200 meters uh, in its maximum elevation, um, they, they moved up 164 meters up the slope from that uh, to 2,361 meters. So we could see a significant increase in the upper elevational limit of the snail that is sensitive to warm climates. Um, during the century, we've had climate increases, uh, climate warming, climate change. Another study not too far from that was in the Bavarian National Forest, um, Bavarian Forest National Park, which is uh, in Germany, uh, so it's not, not too far away. There was a study looking at data from 600 species uh, in the in that air in that park area and they did have access to the weather data so they could see if the uh, elevation limits of these species changed as well just like with the snail seeing if if they moved further up the mountainsides as it warmed up and they sh showed that uh, for birds and insects they found um, that they were generally found further off up slope so i'm just going to show you that data from that paper. I pulled it out. There's a link to the paper here. And uh, we can see on the x-axis, we have the shift from uh, over the time period uh, from, from where it used to be on the red line um, going up slope. 
and the top group of the birds, the aves, and then we have the hymenoptera, which includes your your bees and your your wasps. Um, then we have the hoverflies. Then we have the coleoptera, which is the beetles, and then we have the seed plants. And uh, we found that for all of those insect groups and the birds, they move significantly up the average. The new average is the little blue line in the middle of each of these little bar graphs. So um, of 433 species of insects in this study, they increased their elevation limits an average of 260 meters. And the 57 bird species were recorded an average of 165 meters higher than previously. So these are vertebrates and ver invertebrates that are moving up, up slope with climate change. Then there was another study um, that was looking at the shifts in organisms in the United Kingdom uh, over uh, long-term records. And this one, instead of looking at going uphill, they're looking at shifts northward. So as they're moving up in latitude, this was uh, work done by Rachel Hickling at the University of York and uh, her colleagues in the UK. And they looked at 16 groups of organisms and they had birds and mammals and butterflies and ground beetles. And uh, they had 329 different species and they found around 84% of them shifted their ranges northward over 25 years of the study. And uh, that ranged from, from the, the mammals were moving the slowest at 22 kilometers shifted north. But the uh, ground beetles, which we saw in the previous study as well, um, had a significant uh, 55 kilometer shift north. There's a lot of other studies that have demonstrated that changes in population distribution is responding to global temp temperature changes over the last century. And just uh, when we're going through things, if you don't know where things are, look them up on your Google Maps, uh, get a good feel for uh, where the studies are happening. And uh, these were all studies in Europe. So we had Switzerland, Germany, and the UK in this particular uh, short presentation.